Warning, this video may contain foul language, crude humor, and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in your toy hunting missions. Let's debrief. So today we are looking at Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, Princess of Power, Grizzlore. Let's get into this. So... I picked him up. I got him on a, when they released all that, like 30 different figures. Uh, they showcased in March or April. Um, I think it was April. But they did a pre order at Big Bad Toy Store. So I did a pre order for him and Buzz Off. Got them and I got Faker. I did a video on Faker if you want to check and take and check that out. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, he's so let's get into this. So we've got the packaging Princess of Power, Grizzlore, the usual master verse, nothing, nothing outrageous or super, super above over the top. Grizzlore, Harry Henchman of the Evil Horde. And then you get the artwork on the side with his little crossbow, and then you get the artwork in the back, which is pretty bad with his axe. There's the, the, what do you call it, description with Grizzlord. You can pause it and read that. And then Faker, Buzz Off, Grizzlord, Merman. I'm going to wait for Merman to come out in the stores if he does. Um, I, I know he's available to pick up right now at Mattel Creations and uh, maybe Big Bad Toy Store. But, yeah, I'm not going to go running out quite yet kind of kind of low on money so he comes with an extra set of hands you got a grab hand then you got a, a furry fist it's cool that they painted the fingernail kind of notice something interesting too he only has four grizzler only has four fingers well three fingers and a thumb so let's let's take a closer look at him so you got his axe with the horde symbol and then you got little different things of distress to make it look like it's been in war. Pretty cool. Then you get the little bow which has this little red plastic kind of semi -irid ir iridescent. It's clearish with the red and then you got the little eye. See if we can get a close-up shot of that. Yeah. Little monster. It's got a little horns. Cool bow. Let's get that off. It doesn't stay on very well. But the normal um, articulation for Masterverse. But it's got really cool boots here. You got the red horde. And then he's got these little tiny. Let me see if I can get this to come on. Yeah. He's got these little tiny bones as part of the decoration around the boot, which is a nice detail. Did it on both sides. Um, furry shorts, furry underneath too, which is good. Nice uh, bit of glue, I didn't notice that before. Yeah, see, there's some, there's some issues right there. So be aware, might have some issues with your Grizzlor and his, his thing sticking to his ass. But he's got this chest piece for the, for the horde. I'm going to take it off here in a second so I can show you the little fuzzy jacket thing. I think it's a poncho, Mexican poncho would be a serape. Um, but it's really tiny. And the other thing too with his... Uh, with the chest armor. It does not hold very well when you're manipulating it and so forth. It likes to fall off. The the, the hook things in, in, junk, in conjunction with this part, they don't they don't stay latched very well. You'd think they would, but so take off the the horde chest armor. And then basically it's just a giant, let me take off his head. 
be careful with the the fuzz guys the fuzz does come out see so just be careful so that's what he looks like without the fuzz they did a pretty okay job with the wash but not that great i mean you can see i mean especially under there they really screwed that up but on the legs it's just the wash is done really poor i mean you could looks like like half his kneecap there is tan the other side's washed kind of kind of lame but what do you expect for 20 bucks i guess so let me grab his little fuzzy thing so this is the the little fuzzy coat thing you get it's got a little head hole through the head kind of like a serape and then they trimmed it out so it wouldn't fall apart on the edges but this thing isn't very big guys i mean look at compared to him it looks like a fuzzy beaver sitting next to him and it doesn't cover that well i wish it was a little bit longer that it got closer down to his uh over his belt down down here would be better kind of like the origins one but let me uh give it a pause and we'll put his stuff back on okay we're back and he's back to being dressed so overall i give him like a i give mattel like a seven that they did a pretty good job on this they kind of on the the wash and the fur kind of dropped it significant in rating in my opinion but and he also is a bitch to stand up to so but you can stick his axe and his little thing in the back there it's shaped like a sword so that doesn't make any damn sense but i'm glad i got him because uh we don't got enough masterverse horde guys yet so i'm jason this is war journal toys taking a look at masterverse's princess of power grizzlore if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.